Philip Young, Senior Lecturer in Public Relations at University of Sunderland. Mm -hmm. So what is it you're launching this summer? We're launching um, an MA in Public Relations in September. So why now? Uh, why now? That's yeah. a good question. Um, because we've wanted to uh, have a, a postgraduate course for, for several years. Um, the time is right. Right. So who is it open to? It's open to everybody, but it's I would imagine that the majority, the majority of people, may well be media undergraduates doing things like media um, journalism, media and cultural studies, have a, an interest and understanding of the media, have good communication skills, and are looking for something that may open career opportunities. Yeah. So, what could a master's in PR do for a journalism graduate in specific? Teach them what public relations is. Right. Um, certainly, if they're a journalism student, they'll have you know, an eye for, for news and, yeah. and human interest. They'll have a, uh, a facility for packaging and for, for presenting stories and narratives in interesting ways. Um, they'll be good at communicating complicated things in simple terms, which are all very useful skills yeah. for, uh, in public relations. So what specifically will I be able to do at the end of an MA in PR? I would hope that you would be, it, it, hopefully it will be a Chartered Institute of Public Relations accredited degree. Um, it will hopefully open you up to a whole range of job opportunities. I think especially journalism students maybe have quite a narrow view of public relations. They see it in terms of news releases or spokespeople, people trying to either sell them a story or to be like, or, or maybe even suppress a story. And in fact, PR is a much broader discipline. It's more about, in some of the CIPR refers to PR as reputation management. Yeah. I think maybe I would look at it in terms of relationship management. How organisations deal with the, you know, the whole range of customers, clients, supporters, opponents, employees, and trying to manage the, the dialogue and conversation between them. Do you think this is important for a journalism graduate? I think it's a really interesting opportunity for, for a journalism graduate. Certainly when I was a journalist, I wanted to make a difference with some of the stories I wrote. I was quite proud of some of the stories I did. I did. They, 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 they pointed, you know, it sounds grand, but some of them pointed out injustice. Some of them suggested changes in sort of health behaviour, highlighted things I was interested in. And that's what a lot of public relations does. Um, you know, there was, a, there, was, there was the march on London on, on, yeah. Sunday, on Saturday. We saw 150 groups represented. Yeah. Every single one of those groups would have some sort of public relations. They were trying to gain attention for the organisation, but they were trying to put forward some complicated, sophisticated messages on behalf of organisations that would, that would change things and make the world a better place. So it's re worth remembering that although PR can sell washing machines or cigarette smoking, also charities, pressure groups, um, health campaigners, environmental campaigners, use public relations to explain complicated messages in the world that we live in, understanding how those messages are, are crafted, who to talk to, how to say it, who to talk to, what to say to them, how to say it, is at the heart of public relations, so journalism students understand that. Also, we, there'll be a strong social media element. Social media is transforming public relations in the same way as it's transforming journalism. Um, Sunderland has a, an international reputation for understanding the impact of social media. So that will be the heart of our degree. Using the skills that journalism have, journalists have, an understanding of the media they've got, I think puts them in a strong position to, make, to, to start careers that will you know, take them to interesting places. Is that one of the foremost things you bore in mind when putting together the course then, social media? It wasn't, you know, we, uh, it's there to make people understand public relations. I think social media is changing public relations rapidly. I said to you before that I think that PR is about conversations. Well, yeah. that's what social media does. Um, and it, you know, it is meaning. I don't, there is no old form of PR where an organisation might send out a news release and then hope that a, a newspaper or television station magazine might then take that story and put it to its huge audience. So it was a, it was a, a way that people could get messages out to broad audiences. Right. 
we're seeing that change. An organisation can talk directly. If it, can, if it can say interesting things to the right people in the right way, it can talk directly to broad audiences or very small audiences. Yeah. Um, and it can create those conversations. If you've got those skills, that's the area of you know the practical area of PR that interests me. And yes, we do have some, hopefully, some expertise in that area. We are probably, I do, don't think it's too much to claim, we're quite a bit ahead of the game of quite a lot of the practitioners, um, certainly in the Northeast and nationally. So our graduates who have done some of the, done our PR degree, undergraduate degree, have done social media modules, are finding employment quite easy, uh, relatively easily, uh, because they have skills that the industry needs. Obviously, social media is the nature of it's just a rapidly evolving uh, technology. How will you ensure that the the um, the masters in PR evolves in sync? But you know that, that that's that's my research area. I do that all the time. It's some parts of the, some parts of the course you know are reasonably structured. Others are quite fluid. I think it's part of the you know it's part of the job uh, of a university researcher. To stay, on, to stay ahead of trends, you know, we do that, and we, we people. I would expect that people will be doing practical projects and dissertations using social media theory and techniques. So, I think we'll be. I think our, our course will be fast on its feet. How important do you think a social media proficiency is for a graduate journalist, and specifically journalists? I suppose it depends what you mean by social media. You know, it's a whole range of things. Understanding. Who's interested in what, how they find that information is vital. You know, I think that newspapers are that particularly my background is in print newspapers, but you know, having to realise that, you know, you have to understand that people use the web. We have to understand that people use a whole range of media multimedia technologies. But most of all, we're now just, people are so used to being involved and it's the involvement that social media can bring that I think is going to change journalism. I think, that, you know, in ways that non, nobody really understands, but the idea of, you know, the idea of actually being able to have some sort of conversation and dialogue with readers, if that's the right word, I think makes it quite an exciting time to be a journalist. Economically difficult, but you know, think that we're going through a very turbulent phase, and I think some of the graduates that are coming out of the university now, in two or three years' time, probably won't be following anything like the same career route that I did. But the good ones, the ones who've got something to say, have got the right attitude, right amount of imagination, right amount of ambition and determination, I think they, they will be able to use these new tools in a way that my generation couldn't really think of. So what in specifically would you define as social media? Social media, anything that involves, anything online that, that involves, um, probably using to online technologies that involves sharing linking, sharing, aggregating content. Uh, so how would you respond to the argument that these these technologies can be self-taught? Because well, that is it, one it, argument. The, yeah, I've seen this argument that these te te technologies can be self-taught. Of course they can. Um, but then, you know, you could make the same comment about um, this, the journalism degrees that we run at the moment. People can read, they can type, they can take photographs, they can ask questions, they can answer it, they can write their own stories. But in, in, in the, to do it well, you have to understand context and you have to, and it's easier to draw on lots and lots of different sources of inspiration. So, you know, we can shape a curriculum, we can bring in ideas that they would find very hard to find anyway, and we can basically set up frameworks for thinking about things. It's really easy to do a lot of these jobs, but to think about it, it can be quite difficult. You know, some of us are lucky enough to spend the time, most of the time, setting ideas in context. You know, you can go out and do all the legwork yourself. There's nothing I know about social media that you couldn't have found out yourself. I just happen to have the, t have the time uh, 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 and opportunities to talk to an awful lot of people write an awful lot about it and do an awful lot of time thinking about it. If people can if people can gain a little from that experience, I think it makes teaching social media worthwhile.